Hey everyone, it's Scroll Center. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Warlock Master the Arcane. Timing serves. I believe this will end up being part 50. It's not bad. 200 turns and only 50 parts. I guess it's not too bad. Hmm. Of course, if I figure out the average, about 15 minutes for each turn. Uh, let's see, it'll be about a quarter of it for the number of hours, so 50, da, 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 about 12 and a half hours in. So this is the thing, is that I've, I've been looking out there, I was, I don't know if I just missed it because I didn't search right or something, but I saw some more Let's Plays I didn't notice before. Um, but the thing was, they're partial Let's Plays, meaning that, to me, they're partial. They only go through once, and that's it. But I'm like, but that's like one match. What about the other parts of the game? I don't know. It's just me. Uh, Arathi Settlers. Where am I going to put you? Needed to get some stuff out here going, so... Da -da 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 -da. This goes out to here. And I'll expand out of here, so this one's going to need to be covered. I think this would be a good spot. Send them out to there. Um, and then I'll go ahead and see what's up. We've got more defenses. More defenses, and some more mana. And who is leveled up? You have. Uh, give them some minor regeneration benefits. Uh, received an offer. Sorry, I'm not exchanging my mana right now. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I, I may take a bit of a political hit, but it could be worse. Shoot them. Ah, well, one shot. Took out their Caravo. Caravaya. Car whatever. They have so many ways of pronouncing the same darn thing. Right, stubborn Knights. Shoot them. I'm going to have to have these guys kind of hold back, I think. Um, hmm. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them over and shoot that tower. I'm going to start doing a little bit more defensive moves, harassments, etc. Because the truth is, I'm not really going to get a whole lot of benefit out of some of this. Okay, I am going to go ahead and cast Prosperity on this city. And I am also going to cast Mana Spring when I can on it. Because it's got some benefits to bring in some heavy duty mana. Got some, or some uh, not benefit, potential. Anyways. Um, hmm. This one is a knowledge producer, but we're kind of needing mana more. Let's go ahead and bring in the Halls of Alchemy and call it good. Hmm. We got a. Uh, this one is not doing anything particular. My money is starting to drop a bit, so I'm going to make this a monetary producing place. Uh, primarily. Oh, there's actually a, a gold resource that they may be able to make use of, so that should help in that territory too. But that'll allow them to fund all the mana producing buildings. That's kind of my main idea here. Um, and this has all this mana coming in and no mana trap? Yikes. That shows something. Just had some good resources there, you know? Uh, I guess I'll have them move up. Let's see... Who do I want to hit next? I think I'm going to actually hit the Greater Earth Elemental. I guess to whittle them down as fast as possible. Zip it along through. Hi. Just passing on through. Hope you don't mind too much. I'm sure you're upset with me, but I also don't care. You know what they say. Turnabout's fair play. Come down here. It's also near the end of the game, so I'm not as uh, concerned about taking everyone off. They just can't do enough damage right now to really mean much. Yeah, yeah the usual. More of the red and the purple continues. Do, 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 do. Kind of annoying, the... Uh, actually, I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> I don't want to spoil any plot. Not that there is much plot, but in uh, Warlock uh, 2, there's actually... Um, the idea is that one of the mages uh, achieved basically the unity spell victory, and... See, oh, mana protection. Got through this real quick. Mana, 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 and mana, as it should be. Anyways, um, what happened is that uh, they showed who it ended up being, but it was kind of like the, the nerdiest 
loser they could get out of the group. I'm like, eh, whatever. Kind of annoying, but I'll live. Oh, let's see. Well, he doesn't need Pathfinders as he's flying, so I'll give him the regeneration, even though he can heal himself. At least gives a minor benefit. Um, anyways, and on the other hand... Oh, yeah, definitely want cover specialist. Definitely. Get him charging on through. Um, sorry, I'm getting interrupted because I have so many things in my mind at the same time. So the person who was... There was another person who was supposed to have gotten basically the victory over the Armageddon mode, and they were pretty much the guys who could be considered the closest thing they have to a main hero, which isn't really a main hero, but the one that seems to be favored a little bit by the gameplay design. Not like meaning they're strong, meaning like as far as how they treat them in the two different games combined, I just see it being a little bit of a partial towards one of these guys, which is okay. They added in actually quite a number of changes. I love the change they made to King Lich, though. You can see that right in the beginning, so I'll just go ahead and tell you. Uh, King Lich has... I think it's King Lich the fifth in this one. And so the next one, he's King Lich the sixth. And if you have read his information, his bio, basically, the number is not like, you know, he's got several King Liches before him. It's that he's been killed and come back to life that many times. So they just ticked the number up once, got killed by the guy who cast the unity spell, came right back. It's like, yeah, that's not going to mean much. Alright, I'll go ahead and shoot that city. Yeah, it's like almost half their health. Can't really risk losing the city again at the moment. Or, you know, not losing it, but moving away from it, I mean. So hold off on that. And, oh, you've got problems with uh, serpents. I'll uh, leave you to that. Hmm, and zip along through. And do I have time for another turn? Yes, I do. Anyways, they added in some some new guys. Some of them I liked, some of them I didn't like. The one thing I didn't like, though, is that it felt like they didn't fight you at all. They didn't even try. I don't think I'm that good at diplomacy. <laughs> I've learned a few tricks, but still. Okay, so I'm going to have him, I think, hole up over here. Probably a good spot to get started. For my zombie guards here. Again, I only place one every few cities, basically. Um... Just because I don't feel the need to have a whole slug of them. Usually they just need to deter the enemies long enough to get some real troops in or uh, to get in uh, some the towers shooting at the enemy. There have been some instances where that's been a little bit tougher, but usually I can just drag over more zombies, hold them off for a bit, and then bring in the real troops. So they're really not there to win a war. They're just there to hold off any and you know sudden attacks. Anyways, I'm definitely running Armageddon mode at some point. That's not really a question as to whether that's going to be done or not. It's a question as to whether or not I'm going to be uh, doing everything else. And it's probably going to be with Undead or something else. We'll see how this actually goes. I think I'm going to run through once with each race and try for a different victory each time. Easier said than done, to be honest, but I still think it would be pretty fun. Okay, you guys are getting expensive. But that's only because he got freaking awesome upgrades. Okay. I really do like this game. It's nice to be able to come back and play it again, because I've been having to deal with uh, a lot of really annoying things lately. Hmm. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh, hi. Yoink. I'll take that space from you. And also step on your trips. <laughs> He looks big enough, too, but I'm pretty sure it's just uh, appearance only. Um, you know, I'm going to play it defensive and take down that ship there. And what else do we have? Ooh, he leveled up. Ooh, unit power plus 10% for him and all allies he's next to. I like it. Uh, non aggression pack broken. Is there anyone else? Just him? He's being grumpy again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Minus 82. Um, interesting. Trespassing, Envy of the Leader, um, War with Enemies helps. And Board of Tensions, the big one by far, is Religion. 50 points. Okay. Got three turns. Another video or two, I'll probably talk to him. Mana Pump, Mana Well, 
and Hall of Alchemy, and Market. So one of those wasn't mana. Alright, so now they got that. Uh, the magic testing area, or the... Oh, that's what it was. The cheese cave would have replaced the mana pump. Okay, I was thinking it was the mana pump with the magic testing area. I haven't been doing this all the time. I get a little rusty. Alright, so they can't really hurt me, but I still don't want to risk too much of this. I'm going to go ahead and blast some of these guys. Ah, oh, she leveled up. Good, what do you get? Uh, healing power up. Unit power. That would be good. Or as healer symphony. Don't know what that means. I'm going to use unit power because I'm using her offensively. And that's really what I need right now. She's not going to need to adapt to the end of the game or anything. I mean, this is kind of the last bit I'm going to have to worry about. Okay, and, uh, yep. Come on through. Take him off some more, I guess. Well, I'm not letting you guys take this city that easily, so I'm going to bunker him up. You're definitely going to bunker up. Alright, what do I have left? I don't think I have much of anything in my spells. Alright, so I believe that's it for the moment. Uh, so I'm going to call this video to an end, and I'll see you in the next one.